So close to three weeks ago, I sent my camera out for repairs, and that was a Nikon Z6. As I was about to go live that day, I would say about 15 minutes prior to it, I tested the camera, everything worked good. And then out of the blue, as soon as I was about to go live, it just went, it stopped working. I got an error message on the screen saying error, press a shutter, I would do so, nothing would work. I went online afterwards and nothing seemed to work whatsoever. Turns out to be that it seems to be a big problem with the Nikon Z series, where if you have the camera on and the battery was to drain, or if you were to swap out the batteries while the camera is still on, it disturbs how the mechanics of the camera and thus it tends to generate that error message. Now, most of the time that message gets deleted and gets corrected right away as soon as you press the shutter button, but in my case, it remained permanent. Now, let me give you some history when it comes to that. I did have that problem in the past before where it gave me that error. I did not know what it was, but it corrected itself once I pressed the shutter button like it asked me to. Having this error this time around, it did catch me off guard due to the fact that I was going live. I usually would take off the battery while the camera was still on. So I'll just open the door compartment and slide out the, uh, the battery. You're not supposed to do that apparently, and I'm guessing for good reason. The reason why I'm doing this video is to let you know that if you have the Z6 camera and you want to change out batteries, always turn off your camera before you switch out the batteries. Any other way you may go about it may result in your camera having that error message and being permanent like it was for me. That mistake cost me $252 and that's only because I'm an MPS member with Nikon, plus time away with the camera. That camera is the one camera I use the most and right now I'm kind of relying mostly on my D810 and I really wish they would have like gave me the camera back a lot sooner. I still do not have the camera at hand. It's been, like I said, close to three weeks and they're just about to ship it out today. So I probably will not get this camera until about November the 7th. If you use a camera for work and you know how to stop certain issues from happening, I would strongly advise you to take my advice when it comes to this issue. Always turn off the camera before taking off the battery. Otherwise, since Nikon is so backed up, you will have no camera for about three weeks. If that's okay with you, then that's just fine. The problem is that Nikon's repair shops are all closed, except for New York. Shipping cost was $63 for me because most of the bulk of that uh, shipping cost was insurance. Anything that costs more than $100, you would have to pay out of pocket for every $100 that is. I forgot how much it was, but it turned out to be $63 on top of the shipping cost by itself. So, and that was for me just to ground uh, deliver it to them. Nonetheless, over $300 to get your camera to Nikon and back plus the time that it, they get to keep it. I've been reading some specs as to uh, patents that Nikon is putting out that seems to be quite at par with what I would like in a camera. But it also seems to me that Nikon is working on a brand newer focusing system. So if that focusing system works in the way that they expect it to work, we may have a whole new focusing system going forward when it comes to the Z8, Z9, and any other DSLR. But I'm pretty sure if you really want the best Nikon system that's gonna come out, I think you should wait for the next one. The next one's gonna have all the bells and whistles that you really want when it comes to an actual camera system that it's gonna blow you away. The pans out there seem to be going in a whole different direction than any rumors that I've seen out there right now, which I'm not sure why they're not focusing on that rather than just creating a buzz over what might or might not be on the Z8 or Z9. If you really require the dual card slot, I do believe that the Z2 uh, would be a be much better system than the, than the Prime because it will give you redundancy plus better focus system. But those are the only two main upgrades that you're getting in the camera which is quite fine if you really require that. For a person like me that mostly focuses on landscape and real estate, the current system works just perfect. There are upgrades that are coming along for the Z6 and the Z6 II. You'll get all the current aspects of video incorporated into both systems regardless whether you have the first generation or the second generation. So that means that if you want to have better acquisition when it comes to video with ProRes RAW, you are gonna get that whether you have the original version or the second generation. The good thing about that is that moving forward, especially starting February, everything, even Premiere is gonna have that upgrade that we all want where you'll get, you're gonna get to have uh, ISOs, you're gonna get to have white balance and additional features within that that will allow you to get the most out of that video as if it was true raw. So I'll keep you guys posted to see when my camera arrives, hoping it comes up by the end of this week. And if it does, that'll be really cool. 
But if it doesn't, then I'll just have to wait until next week and whatnot. But if you made it this far until the end, please subscribe, leave your comments down below, and share if you don't mind. This is something that really helps me quite a bit, and as you guys know, I'm always replying to all the comments that you guys make. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.